hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on c programming for beginners in the last two videos we have seen how a loop works in a c and we have learned how to use while loop and do while loop in c now in this video we are going to learn how to use for loop in c so for loop is also a kind of loop which depends upon uh, the initialization condition and the increment uh, property so let's see what is the basic structure of for loop and then we will take an example and see how it works so the basic structure of for loop looks like this and this structure starts with a keyword for and then comes these brackets and in these bracket comes three uh, arguments and these arguments are separated by these semicolon okay so this is these are the semicolons and these are three different parameters and then comes these two curly braces and if the condition in this for loop is true then this code inside your for loop will be executed now first parameter in this for loop is called init or initialization of something second parameter checks whether some condition is true or not which is related to initialization and then the third parameter is the increment of uh, the parameter which you have initialized in the first uh, parameter so this is the basic uh, structure of for loop now let's take a, the same example which we uh, have been seeing in the last uh, two videos just printing 0 to 10 as an integer so I will just uh, declare a variable which is equal to 0 and on the basis of this variable I want to print 10 but in the last video I have shown you that you need to declare this first of all initialize it and then you need to give the while loop and then check the condition and then increment but in the for loop it uh, it's done automatically and don't, you don't need to initialize uh, anything separately but what we will do is we'll just start with for and then with a bracket and inside this bracket I told you first a parameter is the initialization so initialization you can do it like this int i and then i is equal to 0 right it's just like declaring a variable int a is equal to 0 like this okay so in for loop we don't need to do this kind of initialization separately but we can do it inside the for loop okay now comes the semicolon and then comes the condition so as we have seen in the last two videos that in while loop and do while loop we check some condition to fulfill and if this condition is fulfilled then we execute the code so in this uh, for loop we are checking if i is less than 10 okay so we are checking this condition if the i value of i is less than 10 and because we have initialized i with 0 i value of i will be uh, you know replaced here and it will ch check first of all 0 is 0 is less than 10 which is true and it will keep on going uh, like this until and unless the condition is met now the third parameter is incrementing the values like this i plus plus and in the previous videos i have told you i plus plus just means i for example i is equal to i plus one it's just like this i in short whenever you want to increment the value of uh, any variable you just write i plus plus like this okay 
now comes your curly braces so what we have done in our for loop we have initialized uh, a variable and then we are checking on the basis of that variable if some condition is true and we are incrementing the variable which we have initialized now we just need to uh, do whatever we want to do inside our for loop for example we want to print so we just write printf and then we can write the value of i is equal to percentage d right and then comma i and don't forget this uh, semicolon here and this should be value okay so the for loop takes care of your initialization condition and increment and then you can uh, you know do whatever you want to do inside your loop and this loop will print the value of uh, i from 0 to 10 and in, it's incrementing it also now let's first uh, run our program and let's see what's the result and first of all what's it saying some error it's showing so i will see what's the error and the error is for loop initial declaration are only allowed in uh, here okay so what will we will do here so if you see this error which says that for for loop initial declaration are only allowed in c99 mode then you have c99 which is a newer version of c is not enabled in your IDE especially in code blocks so to enable this C99 in your uh, code blocks you just need to go to your project so just right click your project here or you can just go to the settings here so I will prefer to go to my project and right click my project and I will go to the build or, or the properties here the last option so go to the last option called properties and in here go to project build option so click this project builds option and in here it will open product builds option and in here you will be able to see compiler flags and there is a tab called other options okay in other options you just need to type this minus std is equal to c99 okay so just type this minus std is equal to c99 and just click ok click ok and i will just uh, paste it here so you can see uh, it better it's minus std c99 okay now when i compile this program and run this it runs right and i should give this line break here so we can see the output and now we can see from 0 to 9 the value of i is printed and how it's working so initially we initialize the value of i is equal to 0 and then c checks this condition if the value of i which is initially 0 is less than 10 or not if it's less than 10 then it goes here and executes your code first and then after your code execution just above this curly braces ending it increases the value of i so then before the value of i was 0 now it becomes 1 and then once again it checks whether this condition is true 1 is less than 10 which is not true it prints the value of i and then increments the value of uh, i just before here so i becomes 2 and it goes and goes and goes until and unless this condition becomes false and then it goes out of the loop okay so once again it prints from 0 to 9 and if you want to print uh, 0 to 10 just add equal to after 
your uh, greater than or uh, less than sign okay so there is a simple rule here is always use equal to after your greater than or uh, smaller than uh, this symbol okay and once again when you run the program it prints from 0 to 10 okay so in this way you uh, can use for loop in C I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now